Hello everyone, this is Miss Diz coming at you with a new vlog today. Please, before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest news updates from Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line. The big news at Walt Disney World today is 1900 Park Fair at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa has opened. This was the official opening date. And yesterday, Disney did give a preview of what the character interaction is going to look like at the restaurant and uh, what you can exactly expect in terms of the decor before you eat either breakfast or supper at the updated 1900 Park Fair. Before we look at those new characters, let's just go look and see what we can eat now that this actual restaurant is open. So you can see here, this is the breakfast selection. Uh, this is a new updated menu for this restaurant and it will be kind of all you can eat and you can see here this is kind of like a breakfast pizza with this filio or um, croissant base for the dough there's the eggs benedict um, and there's this kind of casserole and there's other breakfast items now let's look at the actual dinner items here and you can see them uh, there's porchetta there's this focaccia some salmon uh, these uh, chicken uh, thighs or uh, legs, uh, I believe that is fried chicken. And of course, on the left hand side, that is gumbo. So these are the food selections that you can choose from if you're either going there for breakfast or lunch. And here we go. This is Tiana in her adventure outfit. And you can see here this family interacting with her. And you can see the updated look of the 1900 Park Fair here. Um, one thing I do notice right in that corner on the right hand side is Big Bertha. That's the traditional organ that has been home here since the 80s. So they did keep Big Bertha. And you can see on the left hand side there, there is two picture frames with a princess in each. The one on the left is Sleeping Beauty, I believe. And the one on the right is Cinderella. So back to uh, Tiana here, you do see her in her adventure outfit. And this family does look like to be eating supper, even though it's daylight at this restaurant. And one thing I do notice is um, the little girl there does look like she's having a pasta dish. So I know a lot of people were actually worried that there wouldn't be more options, like kid-friendly options for children. But from what I can see in this picture, it looks like kids will have other other options to eat at this restaurant too. Now let's go look at Cinderella. She is coming back to 1900 Park Fair and this is an adult group posing with her. She's in her traditional Cinderella outfit. She looks the same. The only thing that's not going to be there and they haven't shown are her sisters and Lady Tremaine that used to be at 1900 Park Fair and I do know a lot of people are quite upset about that. Maybe this is something they will change going forward. Who knows? Let's take a look at Mirabelle now. She's also going to be present um, during these meet and greets. And she's in her outfit that we know that she usually wears. And she's interacting with guests here. And it does look like they are having supper too. And there is Aladdin who is going to be here to bring your wishes. Or there is a focus of your wishes coming true at this new restaurant and you can see he is dressed in his formal attire I don't know if you could say Prince Ali that was kind of his uh, makeshift or his invented prince persona so I would just say he is Prince Aladdin now I do like the look of all these characters and how they are interacting with the guests. The seats do seem like they're still spaced out enough. So each family is able to take a picture with the character. I am a little disappointed that Mary Poppins will no longer be at 1900 Park Fair. As we do know, this restaurant is Victorian themed. It is in the Grand Floridian, which has the same theme. So it seems odd not to have Mary Poppins there. But this is the way Disney is going. Maybe it's because the younger generation has a less of an affinity or less of a connection with Mary Poppins. It is quite an old movie. We will see if this changes in the future too. Now let's go look at Big Bertha here. This is her sitting there, the organ, and she looks like she has been like spruced up a little. The colors maybe look a little more bright. 
And there is another scene here. Uh, this is the restaurant wall. So in the previous photos, we did see some more uh, picture frames with paintings inside of the princesses. And here we can see different ones. On the left, you do have Belle there. And um, on the center is Geppetto. And he is making a wish So on a star. So there you see that theming of your wishes coming true at 1900 Park Fair. And on the right is Snow White um, during her singing sequence right there. I hope the food at 1900 Park Fair is just as good as it used to be. I did enjoy the strawberry soup and I am unhappy that I am not at Disney right now and will not have a chance to try out this new renovated restaurant. If you are there today or you're going in the near future, please come back to this vlog and let me know your thoughts on the dining experience. Um, and if you haven't been there or not going anytime f in the near future, are you excited to try the new 1900 Park Fair, please let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for this vlog. Please, like I said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my updates from Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line.